What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregolis TV. Uh, in this episode of Good Luck, we're going to go through Multistar. Uh, if you want to watch my other videos on this, I'll have them linked down below. You can watch them. I have, I'm doing all of these modules in here. And if you want to download Good Luck, go into your Galaxy App Store on your phone, search for Good Luck and download it. So like I said, we're going to go into Multistar and you can see right there, it says experience the improved multi window. So we're gonna click in here and there's a lot of stuff in here. So first of all, it starts off with I love Galaxy Foldable because I am on the Galaxy Foldable. So some of this stuff will be only for the foldable, but most of it is, is for you know all the phones. So Galaxy Foldable right here, the first one is under display with black. So if I turn that on, you can see the camera on this big display when it's open. I can hide it generally, or if I want to see it, it's there. So you have that option to turn it on and off. I like it to have it off. Show the apps always full screen when unfolding. When unfolding phone, choose an app that will display full screen and app and app keeping front uh, screen size. So basically what that means is if I come in here and I turn this on, it's gonna show the app always as full screen when unfolding. What that means is sometimes you'll open an app on the front screen, maybe the Google Play Store, and it would be this size, but when I'd open it up, sometimes it won't be full screen, it'll only be like this size. So if you have that issue, all you're gonna do is find the app in here and turn that on. And no matter if it's open or closed, it'll always stay in full screen for you. One is when starting the app, do not show noticed pop-up. So when starting the app, do not show noticed pop-up for show the app always full screen when unfolding. So I turn that on, I don't wanna have to see it. Um, but if you wanna see it, the, what ends up being is like, again, when you open an app on this display, what you'll end up getting is something that says, hey, do you wanna open this up? Uh, in full screen on the other app and it'll just restart and it'll work on vice versa. Have it be on this display or the outside display. Next one is use letterbox. Don't use a blurred background, but use a black background. I usually keep that off, but if you wanna see like a black background while you have an app open that's not fully there, it will show those black bars. Continue all apps on the front screen. When setting all apps, there will be a app that restarts or do not work properly. To disable individual apps, use the main settings menu. So you, again, continuing all apps on the front screen, you can turn that on or off. I like generally like to uh, have it on. And you can also, if you want, once you do turn that on, you can turn off the front screen when unfolded if you want to. Next one up is set aspect ratio for each app. So you can come in here and I know Instagram is usually one of those apps that kind of looks weird on here. It's the one that comes to mind the first. So you come in here and you find Instagram or whatever app you're having an issue with and set it to 14 by three or 16 by nine or, or full screen. So if you set it to um, full screen, it's gonna take up the full display, but it's gonna cut off some of the photo, just be forewarned. So here I am, I'm looking at it. It takes up the full screen. And I'm, you know, I can't see, sometimes you can see the full photo, sometimes you can't, but it is something to know that if you have an issue with Instagram or another app, come in here, and you just set the aspect ratio to whatever it is, 16 by nine, full screen or four by three. The next one is I love Samsung Dex, which I'm just gonna run through these. I'm not gonna show you them in like on a screen because I don't have my phone hooked up to it, but you can see some of these things, you can use high resolutions on an external display, you can turn that on or off. You can run many, many, run many apps at the same time, up to five apps. You can auto open your last app or you can set your taskbar and header bar display to uh, delay time as well. So there's a couple of things in there that might make it a little bit more functional when using Samsung Dex. Quick launch from the multi window. Press and hold the recent key to quickly access the multi window. When you turn that on, you can either go to split screen view or to pop up view. What that means is if I press and hold this, it automatically goes into split screen mode. I can open up another app at that point and I'm good to go and I can do my multitasking. Now going back into here, you can also do a pop up window. So I press and hold it it will make a window go into pop-up view. So let me do it on this one because this one should do it. So there you go, you have a little window that you can move around, but you can also open up other windows as well and have that other window sitting on top. You also have multi-window screen zoom. When the app is running with multi-window, the screen is reduced to show a lot of content. So if you turn that on, you can see we're gonna do this, we can do that. And basically it kind of zooms out so you can see more of the display when you're looking at multiple things on here rather than being closer up. Next up is multi-focus. When you turn that on, apps that stopped when they lose focus no longer stop. So you can turn that on and off if your, your app has uh, stopped. It will stop the app basically from stopping. 
um, when you're in multi-window. Remove blur effect on adjusting split view. You can turn that on or off if you don't want to see that blurring effect. Uh, set a pop-up gesture size. Now you do have to, it tells you right here, if it's going to the labs you but you have to have pop-up view function turned on. So go into settings and then go into advanced features, go into labs and then swipe for pop-up view. You can turn that on. Basically what that does is like when you swipe from here, for instance, it'll put your window into pop-up view and you can adjust the size of how much you want to have to do it a little bit or a lot. You saw how I was doing that. When I was doing like this, you can adjust how, how much or little you want to have to actually swipe. Next up, we have the prevent pop-up view minimization. So if you want to avoid minimizing your pop-up view windows, you can turn that on and that should it doesn't work for me, but if it should allows you to avoid minimizing your pop-up view windows, um, which I've just showed you a minute ago how to do a pop-up view window. The app, the last one is the app because this one has moved to advanced features, so it's not part of really part of uh, this good luck feature anymore. The app size stretch to camera hole. This is going to be for the front display. What this does, you can see it says the app stretch to camera hole menu has been moved to a display camera cutout menu. Try using the function more conveniently. So when you tap on this one, basically what this does is instead of seeing the camera hole at the top in the middle on that front display, you can have it so it just shows a big black bar at the top instead. So when I go to the Google Play Store, for instance, I can click on it and I can either show camera hide it or hide it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit your, my home button and when I close my window and I open up the Google Play Store, I have this black bar at the top and I can still see it. I don't know if you can, but I can still see it, but ultimately it kind of just makes it uniform so you don't see it, but it also makes your screen smaller. I'm not a fan of this, so I don't mind seeing the camera hole at the top, but if it bugs you on the, on the front display, then you can come in here and turn it on or off or set it to auto. And there you guys go. That was multi-star. Hopefully that was very helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you want to watch the rest of my good luck videos on all the other modules that are available, they are linked down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road.